Thank you, Lord, for the great wisdom and clemency you show us. Please, Lord, if it be your will, help us to see the world through your eyes. Amen. Mother Claire began. Recently, the question came up, does the great cloud of witnesses join in prayer with Jesus, making intercession for us on earth? Lord, please clarify this for us, because some believe you cannot pray for us on earth when you are in heaven. Heaven is a place of tremendous holiness. It transforms all who visit or live there. In heaven, it is completely impossible for its citizens to refrain from prayer. In fact, I have allowed them insight into what is going on. I have provided windows into earth where they can look and see what is relevant to their lives in the past. They can see and understand with total clarity all that is taking place in earth. No knowledge is withheld from them without a very special reason. They can see the cause and hidden circumstances of all dynamics between peoples, armies, rulers, with perfect clarity. Nothing is hidden from them. You might ask yourself, why have I given them this privilege? You can answer this simply from Paul's description. We are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses cheering us on. And what does that mean? It means that by my grace, they stayed faithful to me and were found worthy to enter heaven. So why were they found worthy? Because they followed every jot and tittle of the Bible, or because they shared what they had with others, or because on earth they prayed always, lifting up every intention to the Father through me, and they were heard. They were found worthy to enter heaven because of their faithfulness. When I told them to pray without ceasing, I did not say, Look, you will be in heaven soon, and you can't pray for anyone from earth when you are there, so you better get all your prayers in now before it's too late. I did not put any conditions on them to stop praying in heaven. And why should I? They will see me praying in heaven just as I prayed on earth, and in all things they are to follow my example. So I simply said, Pray without ceasing. My people, you are ignorant of what transpires in heaven. Everyone is busy working for me, arranging circumstances, inspiring, teaching, assisting, with only one goal in mind, the salvation of the lost. How can the great cloud of witnesses help on earth if they are not permitted to pray in heaven as they work with you on earth? Prayer is your number one vehicle and grace to bring souls to me. So why would you stop doing that in heaven? The answer is simple. You don't. In heaven there is constant prayer and worship. In heaven, there are prayer groups that assemble for different purposes. In heaven, the compassion of their hearts is so fired up, they could not stop praying even if they wanted to. Yes, pray without ceasing is just as much as a mandate in heaven as it was on earth, except thousands of times more powerful because there are no distractions in heaven and each soul knows the plight of those on earth. How do they know? Holy Spirit is one example, is very much like the cloud on earth designed for the storage and transfer of knowledge by men. Holy Spirit knows all things at all times, and is never lacking in understanding. He conveys this knowledge to each soul on earth, involved in a need to know context. That means that when their little grandbaby has a serious health issue, they begin to pray immediately. That knowledge is conveyed to them immediately so they can pray for the child. Beloved ones, there is no separation between those in heaven and those on earth, except for a tissue-like veil that is easily penetrated by prayer and contemplation. 
In heaven, everyone knows everyone else's background, struggles, defeats, and conquests. Nothing is hidden in heaven. That is why no one wants to go to heaven until they are purified of such things as jealousy, anger, and corruption. When a soul has left the earthly body and wants to go to heaven, they must first get a good cleaning off and reorientation to understand that nothing in heaven is hidden, nor is there any condemnation when things are found out about another. The river of healing and fruiting trees growing beside it are for this purpose, as well as time spent alone confronting sins that have been hard to get rid of, except through spiritual means I have created for them to shed the old man and receive healing from the fruits. We are one body, the body of Christ with one head, Jesus Christ. I do not wear two different hats, one for heavenly administration and one for earthly administration. I do not have two brains or two heads. This is a serious error in thinking stemming from man's lack of ability to contemplate and enter into the heavenly realms without serious effort and a very pure life. Understand everything in heaven is geared towards the salvation of souls. All the angels and saints are busy 24-7 arranging things for millions of souls to be saved. Can you imagine a dimension like that without prayers being offered up 24-7? It simply is not possible because salvation comes by grace and grace by prayer. So very simply, prayer never stops. Not on earth or in heaven. Pray without ceasing was not a casual mandate. It is a command to be perpetual in bearing the fruit of the salvation of souls until all souls are saved. Amen. God bless you, dear heart dwellers, and let us continue to pray for the conversion of the unsaved.